Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to do some solder tests. This is my go-to solder, MG Chemicals 6040 tin lead solder. Uh, if I can't get a hold of this, I'll grab some Kester, but basically I prefer 6040 leaded solder. Now, good friend of the channel, Uncle Rob, says he is a bit of a solder aficionado and he sent in this Relife solder wire alloy 2080 and he says it's cool because it is a low temperature melting set this little information sheet this is real life ri or rl 440 solder wire containing rosin core 183c medium temperature tin alloy 2080 no clean And down there you can see some specifications. And then I also have some absolutely no-name solder that came when I ordered a bunch of these little proto boards. So this should be interesting. We will uh, test each one of these and see what we get. All right, I'm going to start by applying flux. to all the pads. So now I'm pretty certain that they're clean. All right, I have the soldering iron set for 350 degrees and that's where I generally like to solder. So we're gonna start out with the uh, MG chemicals. We're just gonna fill this first pad here clean the soldering iron off in the brass wool then I'm going to tin the iron just like that just for thermal transfer and then we'll tin this pad again this is the MG chemicals and that went down really nice I mean that's what I expect it's shiny it's smooth there's no jaggies anywhere all right so that's our first one and as you can see we are currently supposed to be heading down to why is that at 315 that's supposed to be at 100 and didn't stick okay well we'll just do it like this down to 183 and I will be back when we're down there all right well that's getting down there I want to make sure that I clean all that residual solder off So I'm just going to do this a couple times, flux, and then scrape. Now we have a nice clean tip that should not be at all contaminated. And our iron, or soldering station rather, is now down to temperature. So now we can come back in, zoom in, and the next will be Uncle Rob's real life alloy solder which is supposed to melt at 183 degrees C alright so our iron is clean we'll tin it now I hate to say that it is not melting at 183 degrees C All right, let's take it up. We'll go to 190 and we'll see how it does there.
nothing. All right, I'm gonna turn the iron up again. Oh, pardon me. Oh, swing arm there failed. Let's go up to 220. Well, that's counting up. I just want to check that paper once more. Yeah, where are we at? 183C. All right, we're up to 220. Uh, come on. Let's see what we got. Absolutely nothing. All right, so I'm curious. Does it melt at standard temperatures? So I'm going to crank this thing back up to 350. Take a couple of seconds. All right, 350. Pardon the bump. There we go. Definitely melts at 350. All right, let's see how it does. Tinned. know about you but you can definitely see that it is not quite as shiny it looks to me to be a little milky and what I would call crinkly I'll try again I'm gonna add a little bit more definitely tell the difference between them focus yeah okay well Rob she's sure in 183 degrees and now we have our unknown so first of all, let's uh, remove all of that. Make sure we got a nice clean iron, which we do. Let's see how this stuff does at 350. Seems okay. Let's zoom in. And here we go. Three fifty is not going to be quite enough for this solder. I mean, it's melting it, but it's just not there. As you can see, looks kind of like the other one. And this one actually is developing little, little peaks there. So, we're going to take the uh, soldering station, we're going to take it up to 400. come back here try again I'm just gonna add a little more flux to give this stuff the best possible shot T 
Tune our iron. Mm, let's try again. Okay, now that's a little better. But did you see how when it cooled and solidified? Yeah, about a week ago I said solder dried and I got a nasty gram from somebody correcting me. Yes, it cools and solidifies. Yeah. So, in my completely unscientific test, these two are probably just standard lead-free rosin core solders. I'm going to stick with the, what I know. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if and if you have any other little experiments like this you'd like to see, you know, let me know in the comments down below or you can email me at arduino0169 at gmail.com and we'll see if we can make it happen. I would like to thank Uncle Rob for sending this in. And that, yes, is the Uncle Rob purveyor of... Uncle Rob's Magic Solder Flux and Healing Tonics as well. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, especially the patrons. So if you don't know about Patreon, it's a dollar a month. And what do you get extra that you don't get for this? Well, once a month, you get a Zoom meeting at a dollar. There are some other levels that give you some other things. That Zoom meeting is with all patrons. We meet on Sundays, the first Sunday of the month. And we sit around and we talk. Do we talk about electronics? Yes. Do we talk about things that aren't electronics? Absolutely. We just sit around and talk. So, anyway, thanks for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.